Hello everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to my latest photos, there will be a lot more conjecture and finger-pointing in Coronation Street next week as more suspects are expected to come forward in the intriguing case of Joel Deering's murder. As viewers are aware, Joel disappeared some weeks ago, and D.S. Swain wasted little time in looking into the absence. After communications from Joel to Betsy were discovered on the creep's phone, the investigator was removed from the case. Kit Green then took over as lead detective, and shortly after that, a significant discovery was uncovered. Soon after Joel's body was discovered, a murder inquiry was started. There are many suspects because Joel was so despised by everyone, and Lisa herself will be implicated next week. I in future sequences, Betsy, the daughter, catches the beloved character concealing some bruises and asks her mother where she acquired them. Betsy isn't persuaded by Lisa's allegation that a body combat exercise is to blame when she discovers a bottle of painkillers dated September 28th. Will Betsy start to suspect her own mother of being responsible for Joel's death on September 27th? Furthermore, will Kit reach the same conclusion as he continues to be frustrated by Swain's engagement in his case? It appears like Kit may have been the one to file the complaint against Lisa at work, which upsets her. Oh no! Outside of work, Lisa is praised by Carla Connor for managing a full-time career while balancing parenthood. However, Lisa recoils and quickly leaves as Carla puts a consoling touch on her. It appears that their relationship goes beyond friendship, just as the fans had hoped. During the aforementioned week, Ryan Connor is crushed by Kit's deceitful move, while Chesney Brown receives devastating news regarding his work. In a dramatic plot development, viewers of Coronation Street have been on edge of their seats, wondering if D.D. Bailey is carrying Joel Deering's child. Craig Tinker broke the terrible news of Joel's body's finding to Kit Green and D.S. Lisa Swain, Vicky Myers, in Monday's episode, even though Joel's body was discovered in a river, Kit later revealed that the postmortem showed that two blows to Joel's head were the cause of death. Numerous people may be involved in the murder investigation that the police have opened into the lawyer's death. Joel's harsh and terrifying behavior toward Lauren Bolton was revealed, which led to his untimely death. A fresh Weatherfield whodunit has officially begun, but the identity of Joel's killer is still unknown despite D.S. Swain's openness about her resolve to bring Joel down and her extreme efforts to do so, according to the Liverpool Echo. D.D. Bailey, meanwhile, broke off her engagement to Joel after learning that he was the father of Lauren's little son. Solicitor D.D. was inspired by this turmoil to make sure Joel was held accountable. An extremely emotional D.D. seemed to have physical and mental difficulties after Kit told her that Joel had died. But in a final heartbreaking turn of events, some Coronation Street viewers are speculating that D.D. might be expecting Joel's child, with their speculations regarding D.D.'s current troubles, Cory fans on Reddit have been going crazy, I'm predicting that D.D. isn't just sick over the murder of Joel, but possibly also pregnant with his baby. If she is, that would be a cruel twist after everything the poor woman has been through, the same user said. Additionally, I am aware that she opposes having sex prior to marriage, so I could be completely mistaken. Ideas Another fan contributed their two cents, saying, I thought so too, and another fan added, that's the first thing I thought of when she said she felt nauseous. The child she is carrying is a devil. A detective offered a more sinister theory, I think Joel drugged her end, and that was why celibacy was mentioned so often in the show as it was pointless when it was said, or they had a mistake, but she is 100% pregnant. I was thinking something similar, I just really hope it's not the case, said one viewer, expressing fear. Another viewer alluded to upcoming discoveries, adding, there'll be a flashback where she realized she was drugged in Joel. After his unrecognizable physical transformation, Coronation Street star Alan Halsall has given his fans and followers a little giggle. The role of Tyrone Dobbs in the ITV soap opera made the actor famous. In November 1998, at the age of 15, he made his Weatherfield debut as Jackie Dobbs's delinquent son. He left his mother and her challenging ways behind when he was 16 years old. He trained under Kevin Webster as an apprentice mechanic and eventually purchased half of the company ten years later. The rest, as they say, is history. Tyrone's relationships and kids have been the center of many of the ITV soap opera's stories over the years. 
However, outside of his Weatherfield persona, Alan frequently updates his fans and followers on his activities, whether it's playing golf or spending time with his daughter Sienna, whom he has with his Corey actress ex-wife Lucy Jo Hudson. His most recent Instagram post focused on golf this time, and the soap star looked quite different as he changed into an Oompa Loompa from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Wearing a green wig, pink sunglasses, and orange paint on his face, he grinned for the camera. Before being spotted with his friends, who were also decked out in various costumes, he held out a pint of Guinness for the camera. Alan added the following explanation to the Instagram post, end of the golf season dress up, what a lot of top, top. I didn't get to play much this year. Folks, have a great evening and see you next year. A new mystery rocks Weatherfield. In one of the most shocking twists of the season, Coronation Street fans find themselves caught in a whirlwind of mystery, betrayal, and spine-tingling theories. Monday night's episode delivered the chilling news, Joel Deering's body was found in a river, with two lethal blows to the head identified as the cause of death. Craig Tinker's announcement sent shockwaves through Weatherfield, igniting a thrilling whodunit that has viewers on the edge of their seats, speculating wildly about potential suspects and hidden motives. And at the center of this twisted drama is Dee Dee Bailey, who just might be pregnant with Joel's child, in a jaw-dropping turn of events that has left fans breathless. Chapter 2 The Mysterious Circumstances Surrounding Joel's Death as DS Lisa Swain and Kit Green dive into the investigation, viewers can't help but question what secrets lurk beneath Joel's violent behavior and sudden death. His reputation as a feared figure on the street had recently come to light, following accusations of disturbing behavior toward Lauren Bolton. DS Swain, who had been relentless in her pursuit of justice for Lauren, was determined to see Joel punished for his actions. But with Joel's life brutally cut short, questions surrounding his death and his dark secrets have only multiplied. Chapter 3, Dee Dee Bailey's Heartbreak and Potential Pregnancy Bombshell Dee Dee Bailey's world has been turned upside down. After discovering that Joel fathered Lauren's baby, she swiftly ended her engagement. Yet, even with her shattered engagement behind her, Dee Dee's emotional turmoil has continued to grow. The shock of Joel's murder has left her feeling unwell, adding fuel to rumors that she could be carrying Joel's child, despite her strong beliefs about waiting until marriage. This complex and controversial theory has set fans ablaze with speculation on social media, as they analyze Dee Dee's every word and action for signs of an unexpected pregnancy. Chapter 4, Fan Theories, Reddit is on Fire on Reddit, fans have unleashed a torrent of theories about Dee Dee's mysterious symptoms, from nausea to her deep emotional reactions to Joel's death. One fan theorized, I'm predicting that Dee Dee isn't just sick over the murder of Joel, but possibly also pregnant with his baby. This sparked a flurry of responses, with viewers sharing everything from supportive sentiments to darker suspicions about how such a twist could impact Dee Dee's character. Another commenter took the theory a step further, suggesting that Dee Dee's commitment to celibacy has been mentioned as foreshadowing. I think Joel drugged her, it would explain why celibacy was brought up so much. This fan's chilling interpretation has left viewers reeling, wondering if there's more to Joel's past than initially revealed. Speculation that a future flashback might uncover Joel's actions has only fueled the suspense surrounding Dee Dee's possible pregnancy. Chapter 5, Why Dee Dee's Pregnancy Could Change Everything For Dee Dee, a pregnancy would represent not only an emotional challenge but a complex moral dilemma. Known for her principles and strong beliefs, carrying Joel's child could thrust her into a painful situation that tests her resilience. Fans are eagerly theorizing how such a twist could affect Dee Dee's relationships with family, friends, and even the police. In a storyline as unpredictable as this one, Dee Dee's future could hold a mix of heartbreak, redemption, or a new layer of mystery altogether. Chapter 6, The Murder Investigation Deepens As the murder investigation heats up, D.S. Swain and Kit are racing against time to uncover the truth. With suspicions swirling around multiple characters, Dee Dee's potential connection to Joel's child could place her under intense scrutiny. The list of suspects seems to grow with every scene, leaving fans wondering if Dee Dee, or someone close to her, might know more than they're letting on. Chapter 7, A Web of Deception, How Joel's Dark Past Plays Into the Storyline Viewers are increasingly curious about Joel's secrets and what they might mean for the residents of Weatherfield. 
his past encounters with Lauren have painted a picture of a man with a dark side, leading fans to wonder if there are hidden connections between him and other characters. Theories abound, with fans speculating on everything from blackmail to secret alliances. Could there be a deeper web of deception waiting to be uncovered, and does Dee Dee know more than she's revealing? Chapter 8 Social Media Erupts with Speculation Theories about Dee Dee and Joel have taken social media by storm, with fans eagerly dissecting each clue for signs of what might come next. From Instagram to Twitter, viewers are passionately debating the likelihood of Dee Dee's pregnancy, with many rooting for her resilience and hoping she finds peace amid the chaos. Others, however, are preparing for an even darker turn in the storyline, with one user saying, it would be a cruel twist, but it's exactly the kind of drama Coronation Street is known for. Chapter 9 What's Next for Dee Dee and Weatherfield's Residence? As the murder investigation unfolds, fans are bracing themselves for more twists, turns, and emotional moments. Will Dee Dee's potential pregnancy remain a theory, or is it destined to become one of Coronation Street's most jaw-dropping revelations? With each episode, the suspense grows as characters face questions of love, betrayal, and loyalty. Chapter 10, The Future of Coronation Street, Will Dee Dee's Storyline Change Everything? If Dee Dee's pregnancy theory proves true, it could redefine her character and introduce new dynamics to Coronation Street. This storyline has captivated fans like few others, pulling them into the heart of Weatherfield's biggest mystery. Only time will tell whether Dee Dee's journey will bring closure or lead to even greater turmoil in Weatherfield. One thing's for certain, Coronation Street is pushing boundaries and keeping fans on the edge of their seats eagerly awaiting the next twist in this electrifying tale. Alan Halsall has been a staple on Coronation Street since 1998, where he's grown up before our eyes as the beloved Tyrone Dobbs. From a rebellious teenager to a loving father and business co-owner, Tyrone's storylines have captivated fans for decades. But while Tyrone's antics on Weatherfield's cobbled streets keep fans glued to their screens, it's Alan's real-life adventures that often bring an extra dose of fun to his followers. This time, it wasn't Tyrone or a soap storyline that had fans buzzing, it was Alan's latest Instagram post, where he stepped out looking utterly unrecognizable. Embracing a colorful and unexpected new look, Alan has left fans in stitches with his eye-catching costume. In this article, we dive into his jaw-dropping transformation, his life on and off Coronation Street, and the hilarious reactions from fans who never expected to see Tyrone Dobbs quite like this. Part 1, Alan Halsall's Journey on Coronation Street Alan Halsall was just 15 when he joined the cast of Coronation Street, landing the role of Tyrone Dobbs. Originally introduced as the troubled son of Jackie Dobbs, Tyrone quickly became a regular on the show, forging bonds with characters like Kevin Webster, who became his mentor. Tyrone's journey from a delinquent teenager to a responsible father and business owner has mirrored Alan's real-life growth, endearing him to millions of viewers. Tyrone's character has weathered his fair share of ups and downs, from tumultuous relationships to raising children and dealing with the hardships of running a business. Over the years, Tyrone's evolution has been a testament to Alan Halsall's acting prowess, creating a character that fans feel deeply invested in. Part 2 The Man Behind Tyrone Dobbs When the cameras stop rolling, Alan Halsall leads a life filled with family, friends, and passions. As a doting father to his daughter Sienna, whom he shares with ex-wife and former Corey co-star Lucy Jo Hudson, Alan often shares glimpses of his life outside Weatherfield. His Instagram is a mix of adorable dad moments, time spent on the golf course, and adventures with friends. Alan's love for golf is well known among his followers, and even when he doesn't get much time to play, he makes sure to savor the end-of-season festivities. This year, he turned his love for the sport into a memorable and laugh-worthy experience that had fans both surprised and delighted. Part 3 – Alan's Epic Oompa Loompa Transformation in his latest Instagram post, Alan took the end-of-season golf celebration to the next level with an unexpected and hilarious twist. Trading his usual golf attire for a costume that fans didn't see coming, Alan transformed into an iconic character, an Oompa Loompa from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. With his face painted orange, a green wig perched atop his head, and pink sunglasses completing the look, Alan was practically unrecognizable. He captioned the post, End of the golf season dress up. I didn't get to play much this year, but what a bunch of top, top people. Great night and here's to next year. 
In one of the photos, Alan, dressed as the lovable yet mischievous Oompa Loompa, held up a pint of Guinness and grinned for the camera, fully embracing the costume. Alongside him, his friends sported equally outlandish outfits, making it a night to remember. Part 4, Fans React to Alan's Unrecognizable Look Fans were quick to respond to Alan's quirky costume, flooding the comments with laughter and admiration. Many commented on how unrecognizable he looked, while others praised his commitment to the look, joking that Tyrone Dobbs would never be caught dead in such an outfit. One fan wrote, Didn't expect to see Tyrone looking like an Oompa Loompa, but it's made my day. Another chimed in, Best end of season outfit ever, Alan. You absolutely nailed it. His transformation resonated with fans, showing a side of Alan that they rarely get to see. For a character known for his work-worn attire and serious storylines, seeing Alan embrace such a whimsical costume offered a refreshing glimpse into his fun-loving personality. Part 5, A Look Back at Alan's Best Instagram Moments Alan has consistently delighted his fans with his Instagram posts, sharing everything from tender moments with his daughter Sienna to candid shots of his life offset. His end-of-season golf antics aren't the only times Alan has left fans laughing, his posts often reflect his playful nature and easygoing personality, with plenty of behind-the-scenes insights into the man behind Tyrone. Whether he's enjoying downtime with co-stars, showing off his latest golf scores, or simply spending a quiet day with family, Alan's Instagram captures the joys and challenges of his life outside the spotlight. His ability to connect with fans on a personal level is part of what makes him one of Coronation Street's most cherished stars. Conclusion, The Heart of Weatherfield Alan Halsall's Lumpa Lumpa transformation is a reminder that even the most beloved soap stars know how to have a good laugh. His unrecognizable appearance was the perfect way to cap off the golf season, providing fans with a light-hearted moment that they won't soon forget. While Tyrone Dobbs may be navigating serious drama on Coronation Street, Alan's off-screen antics show that he knows how to let loose and enjoy life. So here's to Alan Halsall, a Coronation Street legend, a dedicated father, and a man who isn't afraid to embrace his inner Oompa Loompa. Fans can't wait to see what he'll post next, and if his latest costume is any indication, we're all in for a treat. Whether he's playing Tyrone or having fun off-screen, Alan Halsall has proven time and again why he's a fan favorite. So, keep an eye on his Instagram for more hilarious updates, because with Alan, you never know what's coming next. John Thompson is back on our TV screens, playing the part of Jesse Chadwick on Coronation Street. Gail Platts, played by Helen Wirth, leaving plotline includes the actor's return. Sean Wilson, who plays Gail's ex-husband Martin Platt, was replaced for this subplot by John, 55. Jesse's return to the cobbles has undoubtedly caused a stir, especially considering his previous relationship with Eileen Grimshaw. After an enraged Eileen drove Jesse out of the Rovers, he was last seen in Weatherfield 14 years ago. John said it was perfect timing that ITV officials approached him to resume his role as Jesse, and he was delighted. It was always a case of never say never, but it came in between jobs for me, so the timing was perfect, he revealed. I was really happy to get the call. I don't want to travel far from home because I have a little girl, and even though I haven't been in the show for 15 years, it seems like seeing an old buddy you haven't seen in a long time, and the years simply seem to melt away. In response to a question regarding his Cory character's activities after his last appearance on The Cobbles, he added, he did get married again, but it didn't work out. Additionally, a friend let him down horribly, which left him in a difficult situation. In order to recreate himself, he began to tour the world in an attempt to, as they say, discover himself. John has had a prosperous career in comedy and television outside of Coronation Street, appearing in hit series including Cold Feet, Men Behaving Badly, and The Fast Show, according to The Mirror. Along with appearing on numerous radio shows, he has also worked as a comedian and narrator. In his private life, John married his longtime partner Samantha Sharp in 2005. The two of them have two daughters, Sophia Melody and Olivia Melody, who were born in 2010 and 2002, respectively. But in 2015, the pair revealed their divorce in a joint statement, ending their 10-year marriage. They stated, Unfortunately, our marriage has irretrievably failed. We've been apart since November 2014, and we're nearing the end of our divorce proceedings. We beg that you maintain our privacy at this time, as the welfare of our children comes first. At the moment, John is thought to be unmarried. 
soon after Joel's body was discovered, a murder inquiry was started. There are many suspects because Joel was so despised by everyone, and Lisa herself will be implicated next week. I in future sequences, Betsy, the daughter, catches the beloved character concealing some bruises and asks her mother where she acquired them. Betsy isn't persuaded by Lisa's allegation that a body combat exercise is to blame when she discovers a bottle of painkillers dated September 28th. Will Betsy start to suspect her own mother of being responsible for Joel's death on September 27th? Furthermore, will Kit reach the same conclusion as he continues to be frustrated by Swain's engagement in his case? It appears like Kit may have been the one to file the complaint against Lisa at work, which upsets her.